Ian was sat there before the midweek game and said, I'm not expecting another 5-0, and you duly did it, but we can't say we're expecting another 5-0. Just ride the good times, but not expect too much. Yeah, look, I think we're extremely fortunate to have witnessed those two results, um, two very good results, and listen, I think the last time we did that was 1929 or something like that, which shows you how difficult it actually is. Um, look, the players are full of confidence, but it's making sure we... We keep the reins on that confidence and it doesn't overspill to expectancy and, and arrogance. We, we want to work hard, we want to stay humble and we know this is probably as tough as it gets Saturday in terms of, of an away game. So, yeah, we're going there full of good confidence and spirit, but we know the job that's coming. Knowing the group, a little bit like I do, not as well as you, of course. I don't think they're an arrogant bunch, are they? It's no. that fine line of, as you say, sticking your chest out, being proud and confident. but. I think they've got that trait in them, really, haven't yeah. they? I mean, to play the way we play, you need confidence, you need bravery, you need belief. And I think part of our development is we've we've evolved with that and we've got better with that. Um, and, yeah, it's great to see on the faces they always want more. We've had a meeting today and, and gone through the game on Tuesday and there's still lots to work on, but, you know, they, they understood that it's not about nitpicking, it's not about... Um, singling out individuals it's just about us being better it's, it's strictly business it's nothing personal uh, and we all just want to improve and get better so there's still lots to work on there's still lots of improvements to come and we need to implement that and take that on board for the coming fixtures especially on Saturday mm, the confidence is evident in the way they're playing just to watch and I suppose that summed up by the skipper more than anybody else he scores his first goals and then the other night looks like he's going to score every time yeah. coming up from a corner and it, it Confidence, you, you can't buy it, you can't package yeah, it. Um, oh, if we could, it'd be amazing, wouldn't yeah. it? Um, confidence is one of those things where it's so hard to build but can can leave you in a heartbeat. And I think we have to appreciate that and respect that. And while things are good, we try and you know make the most of it. But we also know that you know one bad result and the whole mood can change. So we just want to make sure we are fully focused, um, concentrate on our process. We speak about the process a lot. What's the process? What's our process? What are we going to try to do to wick them and then implement that game plan better than they can implement theirs? It's, it's really simple. As you say, we're playing another form side. We've had a few of those lately uh, in Wickham at, at the weekend. That They're going well, just on the fringe of the playoff places. So, yeah. as you say, regardless of what's happened the last week or so, it's, it's a tough game. It's a really tough game. As I said, it's probably one of the toughest games you could have away from home in particular. Gareth's done an incredible job there. Um, they're always there or thereabouts. A fantastic yardstick for this division. And yeah, we know we know exactly what's coming. There's no secrets. Um, we just have to go there as as best we can, as perform as best we can, and, and hope that's good enough to get us three points. Yeah, we touched on it before. Went down there and lost one nil in a tight game last year. And no reflection on the side you had then compared to now. But you've moved light years since it was a tough run with injuries and one thing and another. But. Uh, you know, the, the, the way the club evolves, when you see him week in, week out, perhaps it doesn't sink in, but if you sort of just cast yeah. your mind back, it's been a, a big journey already. I mean, in this game and in the middle of a football season, it's sometimes hard to, to catch your breath, um, let alone think about what's gone on before. Um, sometimes it's important you have perspective, though. We're always on to the next challenge, the next thing. We always want success. Um, but sometimes you should stop and, and take a minute and think about where we've come from. Um, the sense of perspective of the journey that we've been on and how much improvement and progression there has been in this period. And yeah, we are going there a different team, which is great credit to everybody. Um, but it doesn't necessarily mean that we're, we're going to get anything from the game. We have to go there and earn that and earn that right and give our best performance and best version of ourselves. And if we can do that, then I'm confident we can beat any team. But um, we have to go there and do it. Mm. And you say that with that comes anticipation, expectation. But again, it's a case yeah. of harnessing that. You've earned the right to have that, if you like. Try and enjoy that without it becoming a sort of pressure. Yeah, I mean, look, again, pressure is a privilege. Mm. And externally, I'm delighted that the supporters are happy because they've been through enough crap. Um, can I say crap? I can say crap. Uh, enough crap in the time to to warrant enjoying these moments and these two victories. As I said, 1929 was the last time we won two games, 5-0 back-to-back. So, yeah, let them get excited, but internally we must keep our focus. We must make sure that we are concentrated, we are working really hard to improve. Uh, there's still lots to improve on, and we just focus on the next game. It's not about the semi-final, it's not about the games in the future, Sheffield, etc., all these games. The time will come for those, but for now our focus has to be on Wickham. 
um, the boys are focused mm. and I think they're in a really good place and I'm looking forward to the game. Mm. You've had injuries, I think it was eight senior players missing last weekend, but you've still got a very competitive little unit, haven't you? And obviously we've got Conor Bradley added back to that mix and, and Cameron at the weekend. Yeah, Conor and back. Con Connor's back, sorry, with his back. Um, <laughs> yeah, nice to, and Cameron's back issue is healed as well, so he's back available, which is good. Um, Dan and Ndulu should be back available next week and back in the training group. And George Thomason's had another week's training, so the group's getting stronger all the time. Said so they're in a really good place. Like the, the togetherness is palpable. I love seeing them work. I love the atmosphere in and around the changing rooms, in and around Lostock. You can feel it. But you can feel it everywhere. It's, it's great. It's a, it's a great place to be at the moment. This football club. But as I said, there's lots of hard work to do. There's lots of hard work to go, and we know exactly what's required. It's easy, and managers often say it, and I don't blame them, of course, it's when someone's out, another chance for somebody else to play. That's an off-trotted-out line, but Luke and Betty proved it in the last two games that he's seized the moment, and everybody that's come in the side has done that, haven't they? Exactly that, and, and Luke's been exceptional. I mean, to come and win the first two games 5-0, score his first senior goal, it's a dream yeah. start for easy, him. Easy game, this. Yeah, I don't know who's <laughs> writing his scripts, but it's pretty good. Yeah. Um, and yeah, as I said, bodies are returning all the time, which is strengthening the squad and the group, and we've got... Different games coming up, different challenges. Um, Wickham is a completely different challenge to what the three that have just gone, Charlton's, your Peterborough's, your MK Dons. Um, this is a completely different game and we'll pick a team that we think can deal with their threats and their strengths but also, also highlight their deficiencies. Um, yeah, we'll formulate a game plan as we always do and we'll try and execute.